voice to text tools are great for turning your messy thoughts into organized ideas. But the problem is that most of them live outside your normal note taking or writing environment. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a system in Tana so you can capture your voice notes and turn them into any kind of custom content that you want with one single click. I'm a pretty fast typer and for years that was my main way of getting things out of my head. But over the last year, I've ditched the keyboard altogether and pretty much 80% of the things that come into being in my life come because I speak them through voice capture. Voice transcription has come so far in the last few years that it now is truly faster to capture your ideas using voice. But even with all these new voice to text apps, I still see so many people having to copy and paste between where they capture their voice and where they actually do work, take notes, do writing, that kind of thing. And it just feels clunky. So in this video, I want to show you how you can use Tana to do it all. Capture your voice, transcribe it, and then turn it into anything you need it to be. So here's what we're going to cover. Firstly, we're going to set up a super tag called audio notes. This is going to house all of our commands. It's going to be an easy way to find all your audio notes again. And it really is the best way to capture any audio notes. The second thing is we're going to set up custom AI command buttons. So this means that anything that you output regularly, we're going to set up a button for that. So if you, like me, outline content regularly, you can press a button and have the transcript turn into an outline. If you brain dump your ideas, you can have that output your ideas. And the third thing is we're just, we're just going to set up a simple search that finds all of your voice notes so that you can find them again, process them, do whatever you need with them. If you like workflows like this, you're going to love my weekly Tana Toolbox newsletter where I share one workflow every week to help you build a simple a powerful personal knowledge management system that works in the real world. So I'll leave a link to it in the description box below if you want to subscribe. First things first is you want to create the super tag audio notes. Okay, so what we're going to do here is just create a tag called audio note. Okay, if you don't already have one, which I assume you don't, uh, you're just going to go up here and, and create and apply audio note, or I'm just going to choose mine here. And that's as simple as that is, okay? The audio note is so we can find all of our audio notes again. And then the second thing is we want to add our custom AI commands so that we can turn the transcripts into anything that we need. So now you have your audio note super tag. Anytime you take a voice note on Tana Capture, all you have to do is select the tag, audio note, and that is going to then come into your Tana workspace already tagged and ready for the next step, which is turning our transcripts into any kind of output that we want. Now that you have your audio notes super tag, you want to think about the different things that you want to turn your audio notes into. In my case, I have four things that I generally turn a voice note into. One of those is an idea. So it could be uh, just an idea that I'm thinking about. I don't know what it is yet, but it's just kind of like a brain dump. I want to turn it from a fuzzy idea into something that actually makes sense. Number two, it could be an outline. So I regularly use voice capture now to um, just brain dump thoughts on my newsletter or an article I want to write or something like that. So I can turn that transcript into an outline. The third one is an email or a Slack message. So a lot of the times I'll just speak what I want to say and then have AI clean it up so that it makes sense and people actually read it. And the fourth one is a post. So any social media post that I want to write, I can turn a transcript into a post in one click. Now, you might have different things that you turn your notes into. This is a personal preference. You're not going to have the same as me. But what you want to think about is what do you regularly turn your notes into? into. So to build AI commands, it's really not that complex once you know how to do it. So let's dive in and create our first one, which is turning a fuzzy thought into an actual idea. So what you want to do is customize your super tag. So right click on your super tag, go configure, and then you want to come down to AI and commands. Now let's open this up so it's a little bit bigger. Now we're going to go down here to command palette. So the command palette, anytime you add a command in here, it's going to show up as a button on your super tag. So we don't want a million of these. You want to think about the main things that you turn things into. 
The way to set up your first AI command, we're going to call this one summarize idea. So you just, all you need to do is type summarize idea, and then you get this little button that comes up, which is convert to command node. So we're going to click on that. Now we have to add our AI component to this command. So just go at, and then you're going to do a generic AI query. Okay. This is all you need to get your fuzzy idea to something that will actually work. Open up this configuration and then you're going to type shift period um, to get a new field. In this field, we want to put the prompt. This is the prompt that I use and you can feel free to copy it. So, uh, and this is just like giving AI instructions. So I just say, I'm going to give you a transcription of my unstructured thoughts. You're going to clean up my thoughts and summarize it into one main idea. When writing the summary, do not use the words, the speaker, instead speak in first person as if I was writing a summary of my own thoughts, output the summary in short, easy to scan paragraphs and sentences. And then I just tell it output the summary under a heading called idea summary. Okay. And then you, the only other thing that you have to do once you have your instructions for it is tell it where to find the transcription. Okay. Now to do this, what we're doing here in the command is we're saying the transcription, and then we want to type this. Okay. Sys context. It's going to get Tana to find everything in that node. So it's going to send all of this data off to the AI to process and then come back to us. The next thing that we want to do is we want to add a new field um, to tell Tana where we want the new text to go. So put your cursor uh, after the word prompt and press enter. That's going to get you a new field. Type shift period. And then we want to, uh, and if you see here, this is a little trick. Um, if you ever want to know um, about commands is this params here shows you all of the different fields that you can add to this specific prompt. Okay. So we've got prompt already. We're going to do insert output strategy. Okay. And this is basically telling it where do we want the new nodes to go. And we're going to say uh, as child. And what that's going to do is it's going to output this as a child of this now you don't have to worry about any of these other parameters unless you're not getting what you want and you want to change the model. Okay. So, um, all you would do is put your cursor here at the end of this field, press enter. You could go model to use, and then you could choose whichever model that you want. Okay. Um, especially with writing, some models are better than others. So you might want to choose a different model. Once you're done with that, you can close that up close this up and then we can close up our configuration. And then now you can see on our audio node, we have a button that says summarize idea. So we can go ahead and click that and it's going to go off to uh, the AI to process and come back. And we've now got an idea summary uh, and it says, I had an idea for a video about the power of AI commands in Tana. The main advantage is the speed at which you can get your thoughts out of your head, blah, 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 blah. And so I use this all the time to turn fuzzy thoughts into summarized ideas. Now, if you have a super tag that you collect ideas like this, I have a spark note super tag where I collect all the different ideas that I'm thinking about. You can also just add your spark note super tag, and then that's going to also be found in your spark notes. So now all you have to do is think about the different outputs that you need and duplicate the command for each of those different outputs. So if we go back to our audio note and press configure, go to our AI commands. Then if you want to create another one, let's say you want to create, uh, let's say you want one that writes an email. So just go command K duplicate, change the name of it. Okay. So write email, open this up. All you have to do is keep transcription and sys context. And all you have to do is change your prompt to ask it to write an email instead of turning your unstructured thoughts into a summary. Now let's do something a little fun. Let's say you want to extract all the tasks from a certain transcript. So maybe you go out for a walk in the morning and you brain dump everything and you want the AI to extract all the tasks so that they're ready for you, you know, in, uh, in your day page. So to do this really, really simple. So we're going to duplicate this and we're going to call this one extract tasks. 
open it up, open up your configuration. We're going to delete that and you're going to use this prompt to extract all of your tasks. You're my executive assistant. I'm going to give you a transcript of my unstructured thoughts. This will be me brain dumping a whole lot of actions that I need to do. You'll read through my transcript and extract all the top level tasks and list them on one per line and tag each with the tag task. Now, you want to make sure that you put the tag that you have exactly as it's worded in your Tana workspace. Um, we'll delete this. Okay, tag each with tag task. So now you have a few different buttons here. And let's say I want to extract tasks from this particular audio note. I just click extract tasks and I get a task super tagged with tasks so I can find it again later, create a video about AI commands in Tana. Now, if you have a lot of tasks, it's going to list all those out. This is a game changer instead of having to sit at your computer every morning and type out everything that you need to do. You could literally be enjoying the sunshine out on a walk, coming home from dropping the kids off from school, whatever you're doing, and you can just brain dump everything. And then when you get back to your computer, extract all your tasks and they're there ready for you. And again, you can set up as many custom AI buttons as you want. I would suggest four, maybe five. Once you get past that, there's just so many buttons and they kind of clutter up your talent. Now we've created our super tag, we've created our commands. We just want a place where we can find our audio notes again. Now you might already have tagged your audio notes as something else, like an idea or content or something like that. But sometimes you just want one place where you can see things again. So the easiest way to do this is through the super tag page. So all you have to do here is click on audio note and you get here to everything that you've tagged as audio note. Now, I don't really like to see things as a table, so you can just switch it to a list. And we're going to rename this to all notes. Now, you can either just keep this to all notes or we could do something tricky where anytime we actually process a note, we can change a field in audio notes so that we can see the ones that are open, let's say in an inbox and the ones that we've already process. So let's do that. Open up your audio note, go to configure. We're going to go to the content template. We're going to add a field. Okay. And this is going to just be called status, right? Now you want to click on this little icon so that we can configure that field. We're going to change the field type to options. And then in the options, we're going to set to say open or closed. Okay. Really easy. You want to change the default value here to open. So anytime a new note comes in, it's always open. And then when we want to close up a note, we're actually going to get the command button to do that for us. Close your content template, then come down to your AI and commands. Then scroll down and let's say we've got our summarize idea. So as well as this generic AI query, we're going to add another command that changes the field. So uh, put your cursor anywhere where it says ge generic AI query, press shift enter, and then go at, and then just type field. And we want to say set field values. You're going to open this configuration again. Again, look here at the params that we have, right? We've got fields to set and append field values. So all we want to do is this one here, fields to set, which is already up for us. So what we want to do is add our status field in here and, and tell Tana what we want it to change it to. So go shift period to bring up a field, type status. Okay. And we're looking for status in audio note and then we want it to be closed. All right. And that's all you have to do. So let's say we come back to here, right? And I want to summarize this idea. Now this is going to be open. Um, I go summarize this idea. It's going to summarize it and then it's going to switch it to closed. So that means it's processed and we can get on with our day. So when you're in your audio note super tag page, now we can create different views. So you can have all notes and then let's say you want to create a new view. That's a list. But in this one, we're just going to go filter by status and we're going to say open. Okay. Then click on this little round button, search options and go merge filters into search. Okay. That just saves this filter. 
and then this is going to be called inbox okay um, and let's say this one is open you're going to see it here and then we're going to do a new view which is a list and we're going to go options filter status is closed and again we're going to merge that into the search so it's saved okay and this we can call archived or closed whatever you want to call it so now you have all your notes you have an inbox you have archived you might want to move inbox to the first one because that makes sense um and now you have a really simple way to find all of your audio notes again now if you really want to be able to find your audio notes all the time like i do you can also pin this so it shows up in your pinned nodes put your cursor in here go command k and pin to sidebar and then your audio notes is always going to show up whenever you need it and that's how you can build a custom voice to text workflow in tana all in one app without having to copy and paste from different apps and it really makes things simple to capture and then get into an output that you need and remember if you like workflows like this you're going to love my tana toolbox newsletter so pop into the description box below and sign up so you can get real workflows every week that are going to help you build a powerful personal knowledge management system but if you really want to level up your voice workflows then i created this other video with my three favorite voice commands that i use in tana every day and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want more tana videos like this in your feed